Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to take input from a user. We will take two numbers as an input from a user and print their addition on a screen. To take input in Java, we have to use scanner class. Syntax for the scanner class is scanner sc is equal to new scanner system.in. If you are good at remembering things, I suggest you to remember this syntax because it won't change and we will be using it frequently. But if you want to understand how we came up with this syntax, continue watching this video. Else if you can remember this syntax, jump to the below timestamp. Java is an object oriented programming language, meaning everything in Java is made up of classes and object. We need object for everything. This means that if you have to take input, we need object. If you want to display output, we have to use classes and object. Classes are like a containers or just a wrapper which holds the variables and function. Similarly, functions are wrappers for some lines of a code which we can call using name. So Java provides us with some built-in classes and function. This means that Java developer has already written code for us which we can use for taking input and displaying the output. So how to use these classes and functions in our program? To use these classes, we have to create object of this class. Consider object as our way to tell Java that we want to use their classes. So for taking input, Java provides us with a scanner class. Scanner class has predefined methods which helps us to take input. So to use scanner class, first we will create object of a scanner class. The syntax for object creation is similar to syntax for variable creation. So let's revise the syntax for variable creation. First comes data type followed by name of variable then equal to sign and then value of variable. So if you want to create object of a class the type of data or data type will be the name of a class. Then comes variable or object name. We can give any name of our choice. Next we have to define value of the variable. To get value of any object class has a special function whose name is similar to the class name. This function is called as constructor. So we have to call this special function along with a new keyword. New keyword helps us to allocate memory for this object. Now let's build an object of a scanner class. First comes the name of a class which is scanner. Then comes name of variable which we will keep as sc. Then comes equal to sign followed by constructor. So constructor requires some value to build the object like from where we will be taking our input. In our case we will take input from systems keyboard. So we will pass system.in into the constructor. The syntax for creating object of a scanner class is scanner sc is equal to new scanner system.in. If you feel that this is complicated, don't worry. 99% of developers have just remembered this syntax. So even if you don't understand this now, you will slowly understand this as we progress through the course. To use scanner class in our program, first we have to import it. This import statement will tell Java that we want to use scanner class in our program. We will see more about this in our future videos. The scanner class comes with many built-in functions for taking input. One such a function is nextInt. To call function of any class, we have to use object name dot function name. So to call this nextInt function, we will use sc dot nextInt. This statement will take integer value from the user. So now let's save this value in variable called a. Now let's take one more value from user and save it in another integer variable called b. Now to perform addition, we can use plus operator. Now let's save this addition in variable called c. Now we have added these two variables. So let's display the sum using print statement. Now your Java program for adding two numbers is ready. So if you go to Eclipse and run this program, then first it will ask user for the first number, then second number and then it will display their addition. That's it for today's video. See you in next video.